Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Let me start off with the obvious. When you get made into a meme, <laughs> when you get made into, um, when you make yourself into a meme really, you have two options. You can either feel sorry for yourself and be like, guys, people are being mean to me. Or you can laugh at it and say, I gotta lean into this. So I know it feels to people who especially don't watch my channel every day that every other video I make is titled The Economy the Game Changes Forever. And part of the reason why that's a frustrating phrase for some people in the community is how can it change forever if it changes constantly? Because it changes constantly forever. There used to be a time in the game where people would pay 100 bucks to open a four-star. There used to be a time where if you got a five-star for $10, it was like kabam giving you a deal that was so good you'd mortgage your house. Now you get a free five-star and you feel like you got ripped off. That's how much the economy of the game has changed, but you have to recognize it when it changes. And some people don't think about it. This is an example, a really good example, of the micro economy changing forever. This is an example of somebody spending six bucks, especially if they're in a blessed area that doesn't pay taxes and maybe has American dollars where the inflation rate isn't hitting them, where for six dollars you can get, what, 21 crystals? That's pretty amazing. This is a macro version of the economy of the game changing forever. This is Kabam saying we want whale holidays now to be every two to three months. And we're going to make Valentine's Day every year even more of a big deal. And we're also going to make events like the Caps Commissary, which I thought was terrible, um, a thing. Because we want you every two to three months to drop a, at least the, the price of a PS5. Maybe double, triple that. If you were to buy four of everything, this is 400 American dollars. This is another 200 American dollars. So, so we're up to 600. We're up to $720. We're up to $760. And then we're up to $785. So you can spend without factoring in taxes, without factoring in conversion rates of different countries' currency, about $800 in a holiday that you maybe were going to hope to spend 100 bucks, maybe, on a date. <laughs> now Kabam wants you to commit way more to them than a spouse, a first date. Heck, maybe you're going to date yourself <laughs> if that's the case. Remember, I tell my students this all the time, Valentine's Day, Easter, Christmas. If you're not into the holidays, just remember, every one of them, at least in America, is discount candy day eve because once the day hits after the holiday you go to a department store like a walmart you go to a local grocery store they mark all that candy down to half off or sometimes more and that is the holiday i assume to be the best value for your money that's the kabam website versus the kabam in-game store because i did a video already on how the kabam website is a crazy value especially with the market points compared to this. But check this out. And shout out to uh, my man Rob, who flagged this down for me. Look at the seven star and six star drop rates, 2% and 16%. Also look at the fact that for the first time in a featured Paragon crystal, we have a six star and seven star Nexus Hero Crystal. There is a seven-star Nexus Hero Crystal in this. We have never seen that. Seven-star Nexus Crystals do exist. Compare this to the crystals that have been previously introduced in the Crystal Store. Let's, um, let's see if these drop rates have changed at all. These are the Cavalier which I felt like should have been bumped up, but there's still three and 16. So the five stars got 16 and the six stars got three. Here we've got seven star, which if you count the Nexus, it's actually 2.5% drop rate. And the six star, you count the Nexus, it's 20% for a six star. But we knew that this was going to be something they were going to have to face because Valiant players can spend $200 minimum a month now 
and guarantee access to both featured champions. So a six-star crystal, unless you've got a trophy champ like a Maestro or a Jessica Jones or somebody that doesn't appear in the basic or featured pool, you're never going to care about six stars again, or especially the featured crystal. You'll take it for the seven-star shards, but six stars now have no difference to you than five stars, which are, in many cases, until you apply Ascension, although five-star bullseye is still a really good defender for me in Battlegrounds right now, uh, very, very relevant. So the seven-star Nexus Hero Crystal is shocking, and because this is a limited pool of champions, I almost feel like this is this is a mistake. Like, what if Kabam came out and was like, yeah, that's a, that's a leak um, of what the drop rates are supposed to be, because we've seen that before. Seven-star Nexus Hero Crystals exist. I haven't seen them yet. Maybe somebody sent me one, but I have not been able to log in and check it out. But the economy of the game has changed forever because seven-star Nexus Hero Crystals exist. And the seven-star drop rate has doubled from 1% to 2%. And the six-star drop rate's gone from like 9% to 16%. All of this is a positive for the community. I still think six-star Nexus are not what they used to be, and so the drop rates should be higher than that. But I'll take 4% over 0.5%. Rob, thanks again for sending this and showing it to me. I'm sure I've got so many messages I can't look at, but I'll be recording videos right and left uh, this weekend also when I'm going to Kansas City with Israel. So thank you all for the love. Happy Valentine's Day. Have a good one.